Hello and welcome back. And uh, in today's video, we are going to be uh, talking about radial gradient. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at example for grad uh, radial gradient. Um, so I have the project set up already uh, ready from our last video. So if you haven't seen that, I would actually highly recommend you uh, uh, watching all of that um, and uh, then uh, coming to this one because that builds the foundation or at least like, you know, watch the one that explains where we create this container all right so here's the code uh, uh, just uh, so you can see and uh, if you're following along you can type it up and uh, now we're gonna start adding some gradient okay so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go right underneath our color property for decoration uh, and we're gonna say gradient and instead of uh, linear uh, gradient, uh, this time we're going to do radial gradient, okay? And uh, we're going to give it colors. So uh, let's give it um, let's give it uh, a few different colors. So uh, colors dot blue maybe. Colors dot purple. Orange. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's save that. And uh, as you can see already, uh, how our uh, how our container is looking. Um, so we have uh, blue at the center. Uh, then it fades into um, into purple, and then purple fades into uh, basically um, uh, orange. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, there was there was one thing actually um, that that you could uh, you could do as well with this is uh, you can have um, stops okay so you can define stops and uh, 0 0.3 0 0.5 for example 0 0.7 uh, and 0 0.9 for example so uh, we only have three colors so we should have we should have had three stops there we go okay so as you can see like our um our radial uh, has changed and uh um, in this video we are also talking about stops i forgot to mention that but but yeah uh, we uh, stops is how uh, like you know you can tell um uh, your gradient when and where to where to where to stop uh, basically uh from um, like you know from the point uh, last gradient was ended okay so if you take a look at the uh, properties um, for this uh, you're gonna notice we have um, we have center for especially for radial gradient but stops actually work for um, uh, for your linear gradient as well I don't have that one but but yeah if you go and uh, look for linear gradient you're gonna find stops work very similarly uh, except the fact that uh, when it's linear it's actually uh, uh, like linear it's not radial it's basically like you know going up and down okay so what in vertical directions and it spreads horizontally or however you define your direction to be uh, in case of radial it's actually it, it generates from the center and you can change that center as well but uh, we're going to take a look like in the next video but uh, let's talk about uh, stops so if i change this to 0 0.1 as you can see like uh, uh the blue color starts from 0 to 0 0.1 and then it fades in into um, into your uh, purple and uh, if we increase purple and we say purple uh, goes up to uh, point from point 0.1 where it starts to fade in to point 0.9 um, uh, to 0.7 then it actually takes over most of it and then from point 0.9 to one is what orange takes over and these values vary from uh, they, they can only exist between 0 0.0 to 1.0 so uh, that's like you, know, you can you can get really creative um, at these uh, okay so you can say like you know 0 0.98 or 0 0.99999 and uh, as you can see like you know how it's uh, basically uh, taking over most of space and and 
remaining point zero 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 one is actually uh, uh, given to orange. Uh, now here orange is more than this because it's a radial, so it computes the uh, the the radius in the circle, and then it actually distributes around it. So this is what it's looking for, uh, like edge distance, distance to the edge. This is like you know this edge is one, and uh, distance to this is actually. Uh, what's defined here so that's why this point zero zero one is basically measured here not here if we were to have like a circle in here then we would have had that case so if we were to make this a circle for example there we go so it's evenly evenly distributed uh, uh, basically around around the uh, around the edge Okay, so uh, that's uh, radial gradient and uh, stops. Um, now, uh, next thing, next thing we wanna uh, we we gonna do basically is uh, we gonna try to uh, move uh, center around. So uh, let's try out uh, center. So um, so let's see uh, for radial gradient, we still have to be inside radial gradient, and uh, this is where it ends. So I'm gonna say center and center uh, takes alignment as well so alignment object and uh, you can say for example center is uh, 0 0.7 and uh, 0 0.7 for example so if we do that as you can see the uh, the radial has uh, moved on the side um, the center has moved on the side so gradient starts from uh, bottom right corner okay Right, so that's actually all uh, what radial gradient has. Uh, I would recommend you to uh, go inside this class and, and try out all these different properties. It has a very good documentation, so you can actually check it out. Okay, all right, so that's, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching.